Okay, so here I am in M object in Final Cut, and I've got some text, and I want to add video to the front plane of this text. So I've opened up the front material, and in the diffuse category, I can add a quick time drop zone. And let's see. I'm going to just take off the reflections here right now. Okay. And for the mapping, I set this up so that uh, the video is compressed vertically so it fits inside the text. It'll look squished, but you'll get to see all of it. And I'll adjust the uh, Y position. Okay so that most of it in the middle goes through the text. Okay, so back in Final Cut, I don't need to go into Terminal to apply video to the drop zone. All I have to do is make sure that the drop zone text box is selected when I go into the Finder, find my video, and then just drag. And when you get the cursor with the plus on it, just drop it. Back in Final Cut, you might have to type the Enter key. And there you have the video inserted as the texture for that part of the 3D object. And the same thing is true for motion. All you have to do is go into the Finder and drag the file into the QuickTime drop zone, QT drop zone. Just make sure that this is cleared and active. It's got the blinking cursor in it. Go ahead and change this. Go into the finder, find your video, drop it in. When you come back into motion, it's already there. Hope you found this useful. I'll catch you on the next one.